What what? Tally ho. Cup of tea, fish and chips, God save the Queen, and all that rot. If only Bally well gone and made it back to good old Blighty in one dash of peace. Jolly good show. <laughs> Bittersweet being home. On one hand, I'm back in the land of cheap meat, expensive trains, poorly surfaced roads, and cycling and heavy traffic. On the other hand, I've got a Tanex caramel wafer for lunch, which is very good. The plan from here for the next few days is to head west across country. First stop is Manchester. I was going to go and visit my sister and her family but I managed to pick a weekend when she's actually in Reading visiting our mutual family. So I'm going to go and visit my brother-in-law, Bill, and then I'm going to carry on into Wales along the north coast and possibly invade the family holiday of my mate Tim, if I can get the timings right. And from there, it'll just be a case of Finding a train station and going home. <laughs> done and what a thoroughly underwhelming day it was I spent most of it following the Trans Pennine Trail which sounds amazing right a trail is a rough unsurfaced but usable direct route between two places nah the Trans Pennine Trail is a really good example of this thing that we seem to like to do in England where you just pick a load of roads put signs on them saying they're part of the cycle network and then claim that we have cycling infrastructure I'm a big fan of Sustrans and what they stand for but I think if you haven't done anything to a road to make it more bicycle friendly than it was or more bicycle friendly than other roads in the area then you can't call it a cycle route it's just a road just call it a road the trans pennine trail is not a cool destination adventure route it's just a collection of roads some of which are pretty busy that takes you on a sort of meandering wander through some pretty flat, pretty boring farmland. I don't know. Maybe it'll get better as I go further in. 
Maybe I'm just grumpy because once again I was cycling into a relentless headwind every day, except for that one morning on the Kiel Canal, every day since I left Halmstad I've been cycling into a relentless headwind. I think it might be Mother Nature's way of telling me I'm heading in the wrong direction. It's not time to go home yet. I hate it. I hate it with a deep passion from a particularly dark and unpleasant part of my soul. I would rather ride into the rain than into the wind. But I survived, it's fine. I did over 100 kilometers, which is good. And I'm in a really nice little campsite in the wonderfully named town of Sky House, which is rather cool. I went to the pub for dinner. I had a pint of ale and proper fish and chips. So that's all good. And now I'm back in my tent. And tomorrow is another day. So we shall see what that brings.